early morning live stream. Uh, so I've got a client coming in two minutes, but <clears throat> I'm tired. The words that we say all the time, the question frankly just become a little bit more toxic because the more you tell yourself something, the more you start to believe it. Now, I'm not denying that, that you are tired, especially this week, the clocks have changed, all of our body clocks are out of sync, uh, the kids are off school, that's causing no end of chaos, right? It just gets harder and harder. But the point is, things are always going to be there. Now, instead of being tired, instead of complaining that you're tired, what you could do is, okay, yeah, the clocks has changed, so why don't you just go to bed a little bit earlier? If you're lying there awake in the morning, why didn't you allow for it last night? Instead of sitting up, forcing yourself to sit up to watch some nonsense on TV that doesn't serve you at all, didn't even really let you wind down because you got really into it and you probably got a little bit irritated watching it and you, it triggered your brain and it kept you awake and then you struggled to go to sleep and then you slept and you had a dream about it because your brain was working the whole time. You didn't relax properly. Why not just at night time have a cut off time for TV? Doesn't matter what's on. Just cut it off, be it 9, 9.30, whatever. Work it accordingly to how much sleep that you need. Then, during your sleep, during the night, when you're sleeping, if you wake up, if you find that you're a person who wakes up quite constantly, assess your diet. Um, if your last meal is around about six o'clock, you're going to bed around about 10, 11 o'clock at night, I'd suggest having a little bit of protein before you go to bed. What you'll find then, that'll give you a nice, slow, sustainable release of of fuel, if you like, of energy in order to keep your sleep pattern going, in order to keep your brain ticking properly. It's tiny little things. Having a bedtime routine is massive. Making sure you're doing the same thing each night. That's a huge, huge trick in order to make sure that you're getting a replicatable quality of sleep. Now, it's not always going to happen, right? And inevitably, there are going to be times where we're going to be tired. But as long as you can stick to the same things 80 to 90% of the time, I think you'll be doing all right.